But yeah, anyway, keep going. Okay, what, right. we, what are we talking about? Oh, yeah. Third thing. Uh, is yeah. somebody that's only married two people in their life unsuccessful in dating? No. So why did you say numbers matter? Because uh, the thing is, okay, that person who has who, who's had two marriages, I need to talk to him and find out his situation to understand if he has good game or not. But uh, what, what does that, game have to do with marriage? Because you need to understand women dynamics and understand women to to have a have a happy what marriage. What do you define as game? I want to know what you what is, what is your because apparently they're yeah. My definition of game is just understanding female nature, and knowing how how to respond to how they act. So when 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 they're like for example. When they're like shouting at you and stuff, and then you give in to that by shouting back, that's what they want you to do, right? Because they want you to have, because biologically they want emotion out of a man. But it's, at the same time, they also want that man, if they really respect him, they want that man to stay in his in his masculine frame and not say anything. But most guys will, fall, will fail that shit test because they don't understand game. But a guy who understands game knows, okay, she's trying to do this to me right now. I need to avoid that by staying stoic, staying true to my masculine frame. And then she's going to respect me. And that's what, if most guys took on those roles, there'd be way less divorces, way less unhappy marriages. But I think it's because there's a lack of knowledge on game and understanding female nature. There's this crazy divorce rates and all this stuff. I, I like your ideas, but here's yeah. my problem. And that's not, well, it's not a problem, but here's a potential flaw that I see is that these are not, um, how can you say, okay, so these ideas, they're great in theory, right? But they're coming from a 25 year old that's not married and doesn't have a family or children. Yeah, but look, you're, you're Ooh, judging. Where are your receipts? But you're judging me. For, well, my receipts are on my channel. You can go to my channel and see everything. I'm not judging yeah. you. I'm just know, saying listen, that's a listen. potential flaw. Can I, can I come back? Can I come back at that? Yes. So you're you're looking at me from the perspective of a woman who wants to get married and sees that as a as a thing of achievement. For me, as a man, I don't like. I you're can get married tomorrow. But okay. But as, like as a man with value i can get married tomorrow if i wanted to but the thing for me is my value doesn't come from that my value comes from how many women i can get well the thing is it doesn't really come from that either my value comes from something deeper than that but to the outside world my value comes from how many women i can get and that's been proven a thousand times like if you could score mm. my channel and um yeah as a as a five foot eight indian man i can Source. show you, you trust can do me it bro gotcha. you can do it too so if you, if you can learn game if i can learn game you can learn game and I think that's a necessary Perfect. skill for, for most guys. Gotcha, gotcha. No, I, 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 for that. You need to you need to be awake to to see what's going on. No, I got you, but like what you described as female nature is kind of human nature. Humans want to yeah, argue and yeah. everything. Understanding human nature is important if you want to be successful as as a human. I think like that's just yeah. So why why did, why is why why put in these like uh, yeah, so extra qualifiers that's for females? Why are you demonizing game and uh, all the red pill? It's like I'm just saying understand human nature. That's what I'm saying. That's all it means. Red that's pill. why I wanted you to. Un that's yeah. why I wanted you to define. That's what red pill means. Red pill just means waking up, like just. So see some people truth. game is a completely different thing oh. than it is to other people. So yeah, I, I wanted some to people define. game is like these these words that they use and yeah. Generally, people think game is this thing where it's like just just these words that you use and like these push pull things, but it's mm. it's way deeper than that. It's understanding women and understanding how to respond to. It's being in situations so many times that you know how a woman is going to act just based on. Yeah. How a, a person's gonna act because yeah, well, no, women, women are different. For me, as, as, a, as a straight man, uh, I'm talking about a woman because that's who I have relationships with, right? So, no, 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 I'm talking about straight women and straight men interacting, like it's still a yeah, human yeah. interaction at the end of the day. Yeah, yeah, you put yeah, a lot yeah. of things on it, like, yeah, so, I, 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 so can we you carry, carry on your blue pill? Because I don't, I, I, I want to learn more about why you're blue pill. No, I'm just saying, like, okay, so for okay, this is the, this is the main question. So, if oh. I could learn how to deal with people without learning uh you could say game or just and let's say i just learned how to deal with people by working a job or like just hearing things and just asking people does that mean am, am i now like am i still red pill or do i have to go out and go into the field because i'm arguing that you can learn about people without going into the field sarging well, you know. I, I would ask you why you're not why you're not just approaching girls like why are you talking to guys and approaching people when you can just go talk to beautiful women like why why are you scared to talk to beautiful women no it's not about it's not about scared it's about efficiency so if i'm able to talk to more people then i'll do that look, and also too you're talking about cold approach why like, why do you assume cold approach is the only way to meet people i don't, the only I don't. Way to get good at person no, skills no, no, I, don't. I definitely don't because i i don't I, that's not what i've done i've personally lived a very uh, a rounded life where i have um i meet people in a lot of different places so i don't think More it's just cold road. approach 
I think you need cold approach though. I think you need to do volume and you need to have intense periods of immersion to, because that's what's required of you to become good intense at Intense periods of immersion. What do you mean by that? Intense periods of immersion. So you need to be able to focus on something consistently and have patience and do something rep repetitively to get better at it. So for example, you can get better at day game by doing day game. You can get better at coding by learning, by doing more coding. You can, you know what I mean? There's all these things, but you have to have those periods of immersion where you're doing it every day, being consistent. And, and uh, that, most guys don't have that. that. Most guys don't have the self-discipline to do that. So they just think game's fake. It, does That's that true. kind of tie into what you said about um, basically the more women that you've slept with, it shows the more, I guess, it shows competence because it's not look it's not easy to be it's not easy to be attracted to women women i wonder that like no, though my and i'm i'm only arguing for the sake of arguing but i do kind of i do kind of drift back and forth in between like you know the more women you've slept with show that you're better at it or is it like the more it's successful both. well hold on the more successful long oh lost her so like for me it would be you know maybe like a guy that has slept with 25 women versus a guy that has had three relationships that lasted over a year or two years each. I, yeah. I, to me, if I was looking for a long-term relationship or a boyfriend or what, I'm not looking for a husband, by the way, but if I were, yeah, yeah. then that, that would be something that would be more. Wait, so who would, who would you be more attracted to in that situation? The guy who's been with 25 women or the guy who's been with three? Who would you be more attracted to? I would be more attracted to the guy that's been with three. Cap. I, okay. Uh, no, it's not. Not at all. Not at Cap. all. Because uh, I, I I know for I, a fact I'm, I'm actually I'm at, you don't know much about me or my content or conversations I've had over the last year. I no. say the same thing consistently. That is a very strong belief of mine. No, I know you I'm say the same thing, out. but I think I'm your actions are maybe. Mm -hmm. I think your actions might prove different. That's what I'm saying. No, I'm I'm grossed out by guys that have been with tons of women. I don't like it. It's Yo, sing. You're right. Yo, uh, sing, 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 What's sing. What's going on? What's going on? Talk to me. Uh, okay, so Wait, before uh, we do that, well, let me let me address. I gotta be honest. I like I never ever get annoyed, but I feel like I feel like a lot of you guys in the not a lot. Of you, some of you guys in the chat are so like ungrateful. It is insane. Okay. Carry on. Uh, Carry on. So okay, my original, what's up? <laughs> oh, what's up, Q two? Um, I didn't really have. I don't have beef with any of you guys. It's more of just like uh, I'll go beef with you, bro. I'll go beef with you, bro. I, I know because you. <laughs> you brought up a point about um, a woman. If a woman looked at a man, right, who had slept with 25 women or like three or four relationships, right? Yeah. You said that the 25 women guy would be more desirable to the woman. Yeah. Well, why do you think that? Because the the guy who slept with 25 women, he has, he has figured out in a way that the guy who slept with three women has not on how to be attracted to women and the qualities you need to have and what you need to portray. And he's done a lot of things internally to to get to that point that I think the th the guy who's only had three, he, look, I'm I'm saying this from uh, just a general sp standpoint of, I don't know these guys. I'm imagining both of them are the same. No, and then, three. yeah, I'm imagining both of those guys are the same. And then they, ha they have, one has three, one has 25, right? I'm just imagining okay. well, yeah. curious to know the guy with 25 to have and the guy with three to have like i know i know what kind of guy that is and then i you up, so i i see where you're coming from that's sort yeah. of like an umbrella that's sort of like an umbrella concept yeah, in the yeah. red pill community which yeah, i used to subscribe to but so. but i disagree with you because if if the man is in three relationships over a span of a year and a dude sleeps with 25 women over a span of a year, who's to say the dude that was in relationships, if he wasn't in the relationships, would have been sleeping with 25 men? Like I It's like if he's in a relationship that obviously you. shows that he is desirable to women over a long term and they choose him to sleep with him and have sex with him I'll tell you what, besides I'll tell you what. other guys for a longer period of time. The dude who slept with 25 women could have had 25 hookups. And that's just like, that doesn't mean that he's attractive. I mean, he's attractive to those women. That doesn't mean that he can consolidate that attraction and turn it into a relationship with them, which ultimately, I mean, depending on your view of dating and what your success with women looks like, um, would ultimately be worse hey, than a dude ask, having three full relationships. Can I, you, can I ask you this way? Can I ask it to you this way? Um, that guy who slept with 25 girls, did that guy, could that guy have gotten into a relationship with those girls if he managed to sleep with them? Well, we don't know. I, that wasn't well, part of your hypothetical. Well, no. Let's assume, no, but let's just, if, 
Okay, so you're saying that a girl would would sleep with a guy and choose not to get into a relationship with him. That's yes. what you're saying. I've That's seen the position you hold. A million times. So the girl is. Well, sure. I mean, it de it depends. The guy could easily be like, "No, I want to go fuck other girls," but yeah, he could well, also do he could also do the same thing if he's in a relationship with a girl. I feel like if you if you're sleeping with 25 women, that's usually the case. You can just sleep with a lot of women, and you just choose to have multiple women rather than having one girl because as men, we just like variety. No, because and, uh, there are different circumstances that have led you into bed with that woman. I've seen it happen a million times. Um, are we at a party? Is the girl vulnerable at that moment? Did she just go through a breakup? Is the girl drunk? Um, is she having a is bad the girl day? vulnerable in that moment because she's going through a breakup? That's the most, that's the least amount of accountability I've ever heard. Well, we can throw theoreticals all the way around, but if I, we're just, if we're basing I'm, it I'm, off of you said, they're you said the same. Vulnerable? Wait, wait, you said, is she vulnerable because she's just out of a relationship? Yeah, so she's so really saying, vulnerable and it's easier to fall into the arms of someone else. I've seen it happen. Um, why are we not, why, why are we saying that's the man's fault and not the woman's fault for not I holding never, Did I say it was anyone's fault, Singh? It sounds like you're self-projecting because you I didn't assume, say that. No, I think you assumed that. I'll let you, I'll let no, you finish. No, I'm saying that there are a lot of reasons why a woman will have sex with a man. It doesn't mean that the next day she's going to wake up and be like, I would marry you if I could. No, not at all. I, I think that the way you're looking at, at life, love, and relationships is skewed. I don't think that this is based is all I'm saying. I When I married my husband, I was yeah. only second woman he had ever been with i and said that's that was because you, you didn't know how to handle women that's why you divorced. he didn't know how to handle women that's why you're divorced right 13 well, years later two children two houses yeah that's worse. 13 years are later you he's married? a five year old who's never even been married or had kids no but this is all i'm saying you're you're you're, you're comparing you're, no to... you're you're using ad hominems now you're just attacking oh, no, no, listen, can i get my point out please, you're, you're comparing please. me you're comparing you're comparing me to the women equivalent of success, right? So you're saying, because I'm not married, that I don't have a right to talk about this. I'm telling you, if I wanted to, tomorrow I could be married with four different women. Who would all yeah, want to have my kids. That so, would be an arranged I, marriage. No, no, not arranged. Like, go I know, I'm people, fucking like, with you. Yeah, yeah, but like, this is what I'm saying. It's like, that. that's a bad uh, equation for me because that, that's not what justifies, that's not what how I get my value. This is the society... We, we how you get value, but as the only vagina on the panel, I'm just saying, uh, yeah, her, yeah. I I do find yeah. it more attractive a man that has slept with less women. Yeah, yeah. saying and that that sentiment that she just laid out is completely subjective. Like my first girlfriend of four years in high school. How old are you? How old are you? I'm 19. But okay, that's like, why that's why you have your opinion and why I have my opinion. Well, no, okay, I, but but just just hear me out here. Um, I would, you for your no, because I know, no, I know. No, 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 no. I don't. I'm I don't think he's shitting my, on me. It's okay. I'm friends with many views. I have okay. a lot Sing, sing, sing. Uh, so I had a girlfriend in high school for four years, okay? Yeah. Right? Yeah. And um, right, she found it very attractive that I had never been with anyone else prior, right? We stayed in the relationship for four years. Arguably, what gone on, what went on was like very blue pilled on my side, which is what got me into the red pill. And I was like polar red pill. And then I had that little phase and then I kind of fizzled out into like a more like streamlined way that uh, helps me sustain attraction with women. But it's it totally depends on the girl. If if it's like some hot party girl, like, of course, she's going to go out and sleep. And that would be the kind of girl that goes with the dude who sleeps with 25 guys. But um, in my opinion, any self-respecting and self-introspecting and self-aware woman would sort of look at a guy like that and you know understand That's her worth question. in his eyes in that in that moment and then she'd see another guy who'd had who had three relationships and mind you he ran them very well he was yeah. the man of the relationship right let's make no mistake there he wasn't like simpish he didn't like pay for everything for them right yeah and he ran them very well like a true man yeah, the one a certain women will find him far more attractive than the guy who slept with 25 girls because you could sleep with as many women as you want. That doesn't necessarily mean the sex know, was good. That doesn't you. necessarily mean you had a deep connection with that woman. It doesn't mean she felt special with you. That just means that you added another tally to your lay count, which but, is like hey, it's, I was feeling special with you. Those all those things that you just mentioned, that's not that doesn't equate to what women find attractive. Like you gave me the example of your life where okay. You you had a four year relationship with a girl. Yeah, it's anecdotal. I, I prefaced it by saying everything. Yeah, okay. well, I'll be, I'll be, I'll be oh, somebody well, asked I how just, tall I was. I'm five five nine, five ten. 
I do want to say that. Am I the tallest one here? Jeez. Talk about like, so you want to accuse me or accuse might be a strong word, but like you sit there and say that I'm camping when I say I prefer a man with a lower body count. But at the same time, you insult me by saying, yeah, and you guys are divorced now. Like saying that after 13. I'm not insulting you. I'm just saying facts. But, I, but that it kind of is like a little bit of a rude I, I don't mean to. I, I'm sorry if I offend you. I don't mean to. That's what that's literally not my aim. <laughs> I'm offended. I'm 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 not offended. It's pointing out your own hypocrisies. I just okay, enjoy. Can, can I can I um, can we highlight? Can we go through that? Can we discuss my hypocrisy? hypocrisy? Yeah. So what, what's your what's your claim that I that I'm hip, hip, hypocritical about? Can you? Well, one one thing that I saw you be hypocritical about just now was when you completely disregarded Hugh's points of view because of his age and experience level. Really? Okay, I'll, and, I... But then you shamed on me for doing the same thing to you earlier. Can, that... I, give you the, can I give you the perspective from my from my point of view? So, Please. so with me and you, it's like, like I said before, right? You you keep conflating women's idea of success with men's idea of success. Mine, my idea. But generally, women find success with marriage, right? They're, they're, they're usually like, okay, once I'm married, that's when I'm successful, quote unquote. For guys, it's not the same, though, because for guys, it's once we. Success. You have to define success. Okay, uh, let me. Throwing around. Think, yeah, I think I'm. I just want to make sure I'm agreeing. Yeah. 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 I'm not trying to be is, I, have, I, just... I have these three concepts. I love yeah, you I too, Caesar. Concepts. Yeah, okay. So success for me is like, you, you, okay, you said for me, how what you said to me earlier why are you giving advice as someone who's 25 and unmarried that's something you said to me right earlier right correct why are you why well yeah no I, I'm no. Not, I'm not, nothing against it you, you have not the complete right to say that i want to just say why i think that's a a bad reason for to discredit me because i think that is, i think that your ideas of life love and marriage being yeah. your age and not yeah. having that experience yourself well, I, what do you what do you think experience is? What, what is experience? Because if is it women? Is it yeah. experience with women? But I'm I'm way more experienced than the average man with women. So, what what is what do, what do you mean by experience? You're way more experienced than the average man with women. The average man. Yeah. Well, I think your experience has been clouded by your ideology <laughs> that you subscribe to. Saying not that I, I'm not saying like you should be blue pilled or red pilled or whatever. Yeah. I'm saying that you shouldn't subscribe to. Listen, like dude, any I, specific I, I, one and like follow it as the gospel dude, truth you need to all, figure out what works pills, anecdotally for you i, I don't get I don't, I don't give a shit about any of these pills like i don't look at yeah. pills i just look at what the truth is i look at my life my life experience and then based on that mm -hmm. i decide who's right and who's wrong I, I just tend to i just tend to agree a lot with the rp stuff because my mm -hmm. life indicates that, that that stuff's true like i notice those things those qualities of women after experiencing what it's like to be with a lot of women like once you once you are with a lot of them, you see how they act, you see what they do, so, and then you. So you're not seeing the hypocrisy, though, in in but my said, example. No, because the thing is, with me and him, with me and Hugh, it's like we. I can judge Hugh because I know what a 19 year old, how a 19 year old thinks, and I know how he thinks because I was that 19 year old. I I, I promise you, so if I, I go to Hugh's life. You probably had a lot of the same. You don't. Yeah, but you but you're just like I said, you're conflating you're conflating women's ideas of success with with men's ideas of so success it's because of our generation. okay i just wanted to make sure we're on the same page yeah yeah it's like i i, I do you, you can't you can't tell me experience you can tell me experience is a is a quality to 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 consider and i, I would agree with you but i would say Marriage you're saying I, I, but you're saying i have less experience because i'm young but i'm telling you i have more experience no i said it was you know, actually fact, you, the you told me he has a low body count so that tells me he has less experience so that's was, why well, I, well, yeah, I get. I mean, was, that that's all up to interpretation I, for how well, you define okay, success. Yeah, experience. Yeah, experience. Yeah, yeah. Everybody has lower and body, right? Experiencing, you yeah, also have correct. experience. Yeah. Just because you fucked a lot of chicks, it doesn't mean you know the first thing about. I know. Have a long no, 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 I know. The thing is, I know how to. No, because this is the thing, right? It's like once you understand women, you understand how they think and what they want from you, and then what they want from you is you to be a man and know your shit and work on work on yourself and do all those things and this is the thing you can laugh but i have women at my door right now who'd be, who'd be willing to get married to me you know what i mean it's like i have those women in my cap, life cap, <laughs> cap, cap. go into my, my channel right now go into my channel right now and then you'll see it like go to my channel you, right now and you'll I will. see it. i would love to go to your channel I, i'd love to talk to you in five years as well and then talk about how 
yeah, I don't know. <laughs> I think it'd be an interesting discussion. Yeah, no, I was saying I'd, ago, I'd be I've interested to check out your. Uh, Dude. I'd be yeah. interested to check. I mean, to be completely honest with you, my uh, perception of like lay count and how many women you've slept with yeah. um, is somewhat is somewhat irrepresentative of your actual. Um, I, I yeah, nice. you, that's, that's just because your lake count is like fucking ten thousand, you know. Yeah, like, I'm like, yeah. like I've been with so many that it's just like yeah. I don't, I don't. I, I, I any just merit to it. Well, like, your your dick don't... probably doesn't even work anymore. No, I broke it a couple of times. Uh, I figured. Yeah. yeah, but I want to make a point though. Like, I don't think lake count is like. I, I think the whole dating thing is very like. This is a very particular side of stuff, and I don't think it's important to the main like the bigger picture basically like i think there's more important things to focus on i don't think girls are the answer for like young guys i think you guys should be focused on getting like working on yourself hitting the gym yeah i'm doing both i'm doing all of that together though that you're not focusing on one little aspect at one point in your life i'm like doing all good Um, i see i see things in your future here thing do you feel like i'm trying to shame you in any way no of course not of course not thank you I feel like we're just having a healthy debate. No, I, 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 I really appreciate these debates. I really like I, talking to people who I disagree with. I always with. learn something from them. I yeah. just, I appreciate you uh, and and you, Hugh. Like, I appreciate us being able to have a conversation and not, like, spurg out on each other. I really like it. Thank you so much. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I'm really not. Like, I see people in the chat saying, like, I'm, I hate women's shame. I'm like, how am I? I don't. I think it's just because I have a vagina and I'm arguing. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Like, yeah, yeah. you know some, some guys hate the hate you know so some guys yeah, hate hate the hate. Hate. yeah but i do appreciate you having a conversation i would like to do it again sometime actually yeah. it's fun yeah yeah